Hey guys, so I am doing my um, cash envelopes and sinking funds. Um, I've already did a video about my budget and um, showed you how I budget out my funds. I get paid three times this month. I do a paycheck budget. And this is my first paycheck for October. I got paid on Friday, October the 2nd. Today is Sunday, October the 4th. Um, I went and got all my cash from the bank yesterday. So I'm going to show you the video of me stuffing my envelopes. Um, this is the money that I went to get out of the bank. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the money that I went to get out of the bank so I could fill in my cash envelopes and sinking funds. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. All right. So let me move that out of the way. And let's see if I can get all the money in place. Guys, um, like I said in my previous videos, I'm still learning. Um, I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out with um, with the camera and all that kind of stuff. So please bear with me. I'm, I promise I will get better as I learn what to do, how to do it, how to set everything up and... I don't know. Let me kind of zoom out a little bit. All right. So let's do, and I switched, um, I switched my cash envelope one, but I think I'm going to switch back because I put it in here. Okay. So I have my, I have my sinking funds envelopes in this one. And I had my cash envelopes in this one, but then I got this wallet, which I really liked, and the sinking funds envelopes fit, fit better in there. And then I put the clear pouches in here, but then this is kind of bulky for me to carry with me to the store and everything. So I think I may put them back in here, but just for this video right now, I'm not going to switch anything around. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my um, sinking funds and cash envelopes. And so... Make sure this still looks okay. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see <clears throat> what I'm putting in. <sighs> Guys, I hope this is going right. I swear. I, I am just so technically challenged. I just don't know what to do. Anyway, so as you will see, I have my um, sinking funds. I'm not putting anything in vacation. Because I'm good for vacation. Can't take vacation this year anyway. So um, I'm putting $50 in for Christmas. Nothing for car maintenance. Let me pull them out. Let me pull everything out while I'm doing that. So I'm going to grab my sinking funds. And my sinking funds I have in this wallet. I think I might make... I made these... And it's easy to make just with cardstock and the cardstock that I got from Michaels and my laminated machine. And um, I just made them to put my sinking funds in there. But I like the ones that has the um, holes at the bottom. So you can actually snap them into your wallet. So I may um, try and make some of those. All right. So first I have... Um, for vacation, I'm not putting in anything. So let me find my vacation one. Because I'm all cut off on vacation. If you saw some of my other videos, you know that I have saved up um, some money for my vacation already. And I don't keep my money in my vacation envelope. I take it to the bank and just um, keep a card in there just so I'll know what's in there. So next one is Christmas. Let's see, I hope I got this in the camera. Next one is Christmas. Christmas, I do the same thing. Every so often, I'll make a deposit into the bank, into my Christmas savings account because I don't like keeping all that cash on me. And I just have a little card to remind me what I have for Christmas. So I'm going to write that I'm adding for Christmas. is going to be $50. Plus 50. Plus 50. Plus 950 I have for Christmas right now. So I'm just going to grab a 50 to put in the envelope. All right, next is car maintenance. Car maintenance, I'm not putting anything in car maintenance this month because I feel like I have enough for car maintenance. Right now I have, and I've already done some major work to my car in March. 
And um, so really right now, all I need is oil changes. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I can't find any wood to knock on, but I'm going to knock on something. Fingers crossed, that's all I will need for the rest of this year. It's October. It's time for uh, my maintenance. And so far right now, I have, it says I should have 550 in this envelope. So that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 5. 20, 40, 50. So I have 550 in my car maintenance envelope. And the reason why I save so much for my car maintenance is because I have an older car. It's paid for and I'm going to ride it to the wheels fall off. It's a 2009. Um, and just about every year I need what I call major work done on it. So about three, $400 maybe. And it's good to save it so you don't have to pay all that money all at one time. Because three or $400 can make or break someone. So I just put it in my cash envelope, save it, because I know I'm going to have some work done because it's an older model car. But just think about it. Three, four, even $500 a year is better than a three or $400 car payment every month. So like I said, I'm going to ride that sucker till the wheels fall off. All right. Next is gifts. I put $25 in gifts. So right now I should have... I should have $125 in gifts right now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I have 25 and I'm going to add, I'm going to add 25 to it. So that's 150 I will have in gifts. So 25 is going to, this is going to get a 20 and it's going to get a five. Put that back in gifts. All right. Next up is clothes and shoes. I'm not putting any more in any more for clothes and shoes because I have been saving all this time for my clothes and shoes. Um, and I actually, when I went to the bank, I made a deposit. I had already saved up $380 for clothes and shoes. I haven't bought any clothes and shoes this year. 2020 just canceled that. I was only going to buy something new for my vacation for Jamaica and for my vacation in Vegas, which neither one I could take. And so I had saved up $380 for that. And I just, um, I said, you know what? It's October. I'm not going to buy any more clothes and shoes anyway. It's already the end of the year. I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need anything new. I have plenty of clothes and plenty of shoes. Matter of fact, I need to give some away. But I had saved up $380, so I just put that towards my housing fund. Um, if you've uh, watched some of my other videos, you know that I am getting ready to buy a house. So every little extra thing, I already have my down payment saved up. But anything extra, I'll still put in there because what I don't spend on my down payment will go towards furniture and things like that. So I'm not putting anything in my clothing. Um, next is health. I put $20 in my health and health um, is not my health insurance. My health insurance comes straight out of my paycheck. So I don't even budget for that. It just comes straight out my paycheck. Um, when I say health, that's including my co-pays, um, my vitamins, my prescriptions, um, medicine, anything that I need pertaining to my health. So it says that I should have $100 in here from what I have spent. So far, my health. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And it says that I am adding 20 for health. So I'm just going to take a 20. I just add a, well, it looks like I've been doing 10s and 5s. Should I do a 10 and a 5? No, I'll just take a 20. And I may start doing that other chart where you can write beside it which ones get which bills. What I do right now is I just um, I just add up how many denominations that I would need. So, but I don't put beside it which ones go, which dollars go to what. All right. So next is beauty. Right now my um, my beauty is empty because <laughs> I just spent some money on my hair and. My extra is empty. Oh, wait a minute. My extra should be empty. I must have forgot to move this from this. Oh, I know where the extra came from. 
I didn't use all my extra. I used my mini emergency fund for my hair. Don't judge me. I was supposed to use the extra, but that's okay. I'll just put. I'll, I'll probably just move my extra to my mini emergency fund. Okay. So beauty gets a twenty. I'm gonna put a beauty in. I mean a twenty in beauty. And let's see. I had already saved up two hundred dollars in beauty, and I used that two hundred dollars. So now I'm adding 20. So now that's what I have in beauty is $20. All right, next is entertainment and eating out. So I spent um, all the money I had on entertainment and eating out. I had a total of $100 in here and um, I had spent it when I spend it. Oh, you know what? I think I used some of... How much money do I have in my extra? 124. That's what it is. This 100 is supposed to be in entertainment. For some reason, I had moved it over because my extra... The hundred dollars for my extra I put towards my beauty, so I do have a hundred dollars in entertainment. Cause I'm like I didn't I didn't um go out to eat or anything, so I have a hundred dollars in my entertainment, and I'm just gonna add twenty dollars to it. So let me write it on my card. It'll be plus twenty. So I have 120, I have $120 in my entertainment. All right. So then we have household. Household, I'm not putting anything in because I still have 10, 20.